Hi, I'm Matt. And I'm Dave. And welcome to this Magento Basics tutorial. In this tutorial, you're going to learn how to add a drop down or select attribute in Magento. That's right. And with that said, let's jump across to Magento and we'll catch up there with you in a few moments time. OK, Dave, we've been and come across to Magento and can you see that we've got this attribute called exact color and then we've got a drop down which has got black, blue and green. Yes. That is a drop down attribute and we can only select one option in here. And if we go across to our Magento website and I've come into our product and we'll see that we've got the item specifics tab, which is actually the attributes tab in Magento. We've just been and renamed it and we can see that we've got exact color and it's been set to black. So what happens here, Matt, if I wanted like multiple drop down, multiple options showing as an item specific? In that case, what you would need is a multi-select attribute. And if you go and check on the Magento Basics tutorials over on understandthene.com or on YouTube, we've got a dedicated tutorial to show you how to set up those. But in this tutorial, if I go back to the Magento admin area, it's just going to be where you can select one option in there. But that's what we're going to cover in this tutorial. But for a multi-select attribute, really easy to do. And like we said, we've got a separate tutorial for you on that. Now Dave, to go and create this attribute is really simple and really straightforward to do. Now the first thing which we need to do is create the attribute and the second thing which we need to do is then add in the values and assign it to the attribute set or attribute sets is in the plural. So with that said, if you go to catalog attributes and then into manage attributes and we need to create the attribute. So in the top right hand corner where it says add new attribute, click on add new attribute and where it says the attribute code. Now this is where we're going to call ours ATT underscore material and then we're going to call this demo for this demonstration. Now the reason why we've prefixed our internal code with ATT underscore is really straightforward is because later on when you're exporting and importing products into Magento, any of the attribute codes which start with ATT underscore, you know that that was an attribute which you created and it's not a default or a standard Magento attribute in your system. Really simple to do, again, extremely helpful, especially if you're using a tool like Magme, for example, to import tens or thousands of products into Magento really, really quickly. And the most important part here is where it says catalog input type for store owner, you'll need to drop that down from text field and then choose drop down. So Dave, that box we were actually using there is also a drop down as well. Oh, nice. Now you'll want to make sure that it's been applied to all product types. And if we scroll down, there's two additional settings which you'll want to set to yes, which is visible on the product view page on front end, and you'll want to choose yes. And then depending upon your Magento theme, you may also need to choose yes for used in product listing. So if you're in any doubt, choose yes to both of those options. Now that's the attribute internal code, the type, and the option for it to show on our Magento website set, but we need to give it a label and we also need to set the options. Now we're gonna be using material as the example for this tutorial. Of course, change this to your own needs. So if you wanted to create a attribute for brand, for example, because a product can only have one brand normally, is that's a good example of what you could be using here. So on the left-hand side where it says manage label and options, we'll need to give it a name. So where it says manage titles, we're gonna call ours material, if I can spell. There we go, material, did I spell that right? Yes, <laughs> there we go. So that's our label, okay? And of course, if you've got different store views, maybe language translations going on, you can add in the different labels accordingly. Now, Dave, the values of the drop-down box, to add these, you click on the add option button on the right hand side. And you, can you see me just clicking on these? Yeah. We're going to add lots in. Now we've been and got a couple here as examples. So we've got steel, we're going to have brushed steel, we're going to have aluminium or aluminum if you're based in the United <laughs> States. Aluminum. Aluminum, indeed. Laminate, 
We're also going to add in vinyl. We've also got veneer. Now, we've also got two other fun ones as well, which is pallet wood, because that's a really crusty wood, and you'd never make a product out of that. And the other finish type, you could have rust. <laughs> yeah, sorry, we don't want to keep these tutorials too serious. So there's two funky ones in there. Okay, and just to make the point, you can enter whatever values you want in there. And remember, it's your Magento website and your attributes. So with that done, click on Save Attribute on the top right hand corner and Dave that's the attribute added to Magento and the crucial step here is that we need to now add this attribute to an attribute set so to do that if you go to catalog attributes and then manage attribute sets now we're going to pick on just the default attribute set if you want to add this attribute to the other attribute sets within your system, just copy and just repeat this process for each of your attribute sets. So we're going to pick on default. Excellent. Now this page is broken into three sections. On the left, you have the attribute set name. In the middle, you have the groups. So Dave, if I just scroll down here a moment, can you see it says general? Yeah. And then we've got prices meta information, images, design, and then again, you probably won't recognize Amazon or eBay in there, but those are the left-hand tabs on a product page. When we're editing a product in the admin area of Magento, those are the tabs on the left-hand side. Now, for that new attribute, so you can see on here on the right-hand side is our unassigned attribute, so we've got a new one, att underscore material underscore demo, and can you see how that one stands out a mile? compared to maybe color, for example, or manufacturer. So we know that that's an attribute which we made or an attribute which you made in your Magento system. Now we're gonna add this to a group called eBay item specific bags. Now, if you'd like to create a group or a tab on the left-hand side, and we'll point this out to you in a few moments time, is that if you click on the add new button, at the top and you get this pop-up box and if you want to create a group called materials or you want to create a group called Matt or a group called Dave in fact I had to delete a group a few moments ago called Dave because we added it <laughs> in another tutorial and again if you can organize the attributes in Magento in a manner which makes sense to you your business and of course your customers too so it's a little extra tip there for you now Moving back onto the topic, we need to drag. So I've just left clicked on our new attribute and I'm gonna drag and I'm gonna drop that into the group which we want it to go into. Okay, now of course, if you drop it into a different group, you can just left click on it and drag it back down. If you want to put it at the bottom, you can do, you can reorder them. All I'm doing is just left clicking on them and dragging and dropping them to the right place. So let's put that one at the top. And now we're going to press save attribute set. Now that will take a few moments to go through, especially on larger Magento catalogs. So ours was quite quick. Happy days. Now, Dave, let's go and edit a product and make our selection from this drop down. And to do that, we're going to go to catalog and manage products. Now, Dave, the bag which I'm after is this one down at the bottom. So let's click in here. Now, a little note here is that we have set up Magento to sell onto eBay and onto Amazon. We've added in lots of additional attributes. So our product page probably looks a lot more comprehensive or diverse than what yours may do. But don't worry, it's exactly the same product pages, no matter which version of Magento you're using. We've just got lots of extra attributes in here because you can use Magento to sell onto eBay, onto Amazon, and also Rakuten as well. Now, coming back onto topic, we had a side group. So Dave, does that make more sense now? Left-hand side, eBay IS for eBay item specifics, yep. and then bags. And look, we've got one called material. If I drop this box down, you can choose your options in here. So let's go for rust, or no, tell you what, pallet wood, <laughs> okay, on there. And then we're gonna make that selection, okay? And of course, you could have added multiple drop-down attributes into your Magento system at the same time. And then we're gonna go and press save. Now, up at the top, Dave, can you see that we've got one or more of the indexes are not up to date? And that's because we added a new attribute and we added that attribute to an attribute set. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go across to our products on our website, which we had up open originally, and I'm gonna reload this page. Now, don't panic if that attribute doesn't appear just yet 
on your Magento website. So if I go to the item specifics tab, excellent, material, pallet wood has been applied <laughs> on our products. Now, if you go across to your Magento website and that attribute hasn't been set, don't panic. There's two things which you'll need to do. The first one is the easy one which if you go back to your Magento administration area, go to system, down to cache management, and Dave, this one's really straightforward. You click on select all on the left, and then submit on the right, and that will flush out the caches for Magento. And again, that's especially important because you may have a full page cache extension like we have, but ours is disabled at the moment because we're making tutorials. But you may have an extension like that enabled and that will clear that cache out. The other thing is, is that we need to go to index management. So you can either click the link at the top or you can go to system, down to index management. Now I'm guessing we've got two out. Yes, we do. Now on smaller catalogs, so if you don't have a lot of products set up in Magento, you may be able to get away with just hitting select on the left and then pressing submit on the right. A quicker way would be next to the ones which need to be re-indexed is to click on re-index data on the right hand side. Now, it will take a few moments to go. Excellent, that one's gone through and we'll do the other one while we're at it. Now a little note there is that if this times out on your Magento website then you'll want to go and have a look at our other tutorials on indexing with Magento and we'll show you how to set this up as a cron job where it won't time out in your web browser because it will be running directly on your web server. Now that does sound a little bit nerdy, don't worry, we break it down into step-by-step -step instructions for you. So if you can manage copy and paste, you should be fine. So Dave, of course, if we go back to our Magento website, and again, if it wasn't showing there, it should be showing now. We'll go to our item specifics or attributes tab and the material or whichever attribute you've been and added will now show on the front end of your Magento website. And of course, it now means it's available for your customers to see as well. Dave, before we go, it's also worth pointing out layered navigation for Magento as well. So let me go back up to the top. In fact, let me go and click on the fashion category at the top. You can also use attributes like this to do layered navigation on your Magento website. But of course, that's a topic for a whole separate tutorial. Again, check our YouTube channel and we'll be able to show you how to set those up. Kind of makes sense, Dave? Yep, dead easy, mate. Happy days. So on that note, for myself, Matt. And from me, Dave. Cheerios. So for myself, Matt, and me, Dave, we hope that you found this video tutorial helpful. If you have, then let us know by leaving a thumbs up on this video below or subscribing to our YouTube channel. We believe to use Magento, you don't need a degree in nerd, and we've created you over 300 step-by-step -step video tutorials at understandinge.com to help you. In these tutorials, you'll learn how to use Magento with no prior knowledge. How to build a fully responsive Magento website for just $99, which is about 65 quid. How you can use Magento to sell on eBay and Amazon with M2E Pro. And you'll be joined by over 6,000 fellow business owners just like you. And the best part is, it's free to join. So for myself, Matt, and me, Dave. We'll see you there. Cheerios.